Get ready to get scared. Happy Fear-tober, everybody. I am your host, Brent Justice. Welcome to my gaming channel, Justice Gaming. Today, I am going to start a new playthrough for October. This is, well, scary month. And, well, I'm going to play Fear, one of the classic games to play during the month of October. Fear, First Encounter, Assault, Recon. The game from 2005. That's right, 2005. We are going back in time really far to play Fear. I will have to say, up front, I have played this game before. So, full, full uh, knowledge going into this about the storyline. Uh, I know the uh, villain. I know the secrets. I know the storyline. However, I will say, I played this game way back then, in like 2005, 2006. So, I don't necessarily remember every single detail of the game, right? There's probably a lot that I have forgotten. I know like the general overall arcing story, but I don't know the details behind all that, or what necessarily I'm, I'm going to encounter while I play the game. I do know that it is a game that has a lot of jump scares, and I do remember some of the scenes, some of those jump scares, but of course it's still going to scare me, and it's still going to be uh, a fun experience because I'm playing it so, min so much time later from when this game originally launched. So it's been a while. So here it is, 2023, playing the very first game of Fear 2005. If you are not familiar with my gameplay style, I play on the lowest game difficulty. So I will just show you, I am playing on low difficulty mode. And that is because I am interested in the story and how the game unfolds, not necessarily to challenge me tactically. That, is, that does not interest me. I want to play to have an experience, to enjoy the game as a game. So low difficulty is how I play. There you go. I will also tell you that I am playing on a very souped up uh, computer for this game, obviously being out for, in uh, 2005, had nowhere near the hardware we have today. And uh, I am playing at 1440p, but I do have like everything enabled at the highest settings on here. I've got uh, everything at maximum. And uh, all the uh, graphics and effects are completely maxed out. Everything's turned on. 4X FSAA. And I am running on a GeForce RTX 4090. That's right, playing Fear from 2005 on a GeForce RTX 4090. How's that for overkill? So uh, I think our experience should be pretty good. I did a, a performance test before playing. It has this uh, test mode where you can test performance and I was getting about 999 FPS. So I think we should be okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, that should be a lot of fun though. So I'm ready to get into this. By the way, I will be playing in the dark pretty much. I've got the lights turned way down. It's very dark for me in my room where I'm playing. Um, it may make it a little difficult for me to see the keyboard, but I will try. Uh, and I'm hoping to get scared. So this is my October, or what I'm calling Feartober playthrough for October, for Halloween. I will play the entire game through, including possibly the uh, two other things, the DLCs, I guess. Perseus Mandate and Extraction Point, I think they're called. I can also play those after I play the main game of Fear. So I may play those as well. Just letting you know. Probably will do that. But here it goes, everybody. I'm about to uh, click single player. And we're going to go new game. We're going to go low difficulty. Situation. A high-level alert has been issued. Mission. Fear team is to report for emergency briefing on the situation. You have just been transferred to the unit as a point man. This will be your first assignment with fear. Hopefully it won't crash on me. Sometimes, you know, these older games. 
All right. In 2002, the U.S. Army formed a secret unit dedicated to combating paranormal threats of national security. The unit was named First Encounter Assault Recon, or FEAR. By the way, I plan to have do about an hour for each video. So each video should take about uh, an hour recording, and I'll put one up every day. Kill them. The uh, subtitles are a little small. I'm going to see if I can uh, make those bigger after the uh, cutscenes. And there is our main scary person we all know. Fear. So if you haven't seen this game or you've never played it, you're in for a treat. But if you have and you know what's coming, pretty fun game. So, of course, remember, I'm going in with knowledge about the game. I know the story. It's just been a very long time since I've played it. Very long time. Yeah, there's a lot of bad stuff that went out, went down wherever we are here. I forgot the name of the, uh, the group here. I forget the name of the person I'm watching as well. I want to say Fettle. That sounds familiar to me. I forget. Yes. Interval 01. Sorry to wake you, Senator. It's about origin. What happened? Origin. There was an uprising. Fettel has taken command Fettel. of the prototypes. I was right. My God. Fettel. We can still resolve this discreetly, but we have to move fast. Oh, all right, all right. Let me make a few calls. Inception. Ooh. This wacko's name is Paxton Fettel. Paxton Fettel. If we contain him, we contain the situation. The fucker's got an appetite. I think he has an agenda. It's not just recreational. He's getting something out of it. Essential vitamins and nutrients? What's his story? Property of Armacam Technology Corporation. They're working on Armacam, a that's it. To develop I couldn't remember what it was. Armacam. Psychic commander. Top secret, of course. Fettel is one of the commanders. You gotta be fucking kidding me. This is why nobody takes us seriously. Military clones? A full battalion of them. Highly trained and heavily armed. A battalion? What are we supposed to do against a thousand super soldiers? Like I said, we put Fettel down and it's over. Fortunately, the whole point of the program is to give commanders first-hand knowledge of the battlefield without putting them in danger. That means we should be able to corner the bastard without having to wade through all those soldiers. How do we find him? Army Cam implanted a transmitter in his head. Should lead us right to him. That's awfully convenient. Assuming it does what it's supposed to. What about you, buddy? Ready to go to work? Uh, Wait, sure. Are you crazy? Yeah, I'm ready. He just transferred in a week ago. I do have to say, the his training results. sensitivity his reflexes is... are totally off the charts. I think the, he can my sensitivity himself. is off the charts with my mouse call. right now. God I can barely right. move and I'm Don't flying worry. around the screen here. Be fine. Let's yeah, roll. my mouse sensitivity is extremely high at the moment. What's the first thing? <laughs> and the scary stuff starts. You will be a god among men. If you say so, sir. We've tracked Fettel to an abandoned building just up ahead. No sign of enemy activity on the satellite, but don't take any chances. Jankowski, you in position? Just say the word. All right, move it out. 
Okay, good old 2005 graphics here. Fear Mission Coordinator Rowdy Betters has attracted enemy commander Paxton Fettel to an abandoned building in Auburn District. Hannibal 3 spy satellite in geosynchronous orbit shows no signs of replica soldiers in vicinity. Mission Fear combat operatives will inf infiltrate target site on two separate entry points and attempt to neutralize Fettel. According to Armacam Technical Advisor, once Fettel is contained, replica soldiers will become inactive and can be round up without incident. Now we have control. Oh my gosh, my mouse sensitivity, my mouse sensitivity, guys, it is off the chain at the moment. I have to fix this, or I'm going to be in trouble. Mouse uh, sensitivity, and it's not even up that high on here. But let me tell you, it's up really high. That is much better. Still high, but better. I think I can deal with that. We'll see how that works. Man, that was crazy. Um, okay, I'm just trying to get a feel for the game as I uh, walk in here. Oh, I got some flashing textures. I uh, don't know if that's showing up on my recording or not, but I'm definitely getting some flashing textures. I'm trying to look over and see if that's showing up on my recording, and I don't think that's showing up on my recording, but I am definitely seeing flashing textures on my main screen here. That could be a problem for me. Uh-oh. Yeah, these old games, you never know what kind of bugs you're going to run into, right? Yeah, how do I break? Uh, I don't know how to break this. F isn't working. E isn't working. Uh, guess I just shoot it. I don't have a melee. Okay. All right. Ha! Huh, we're finally in the game. So, as I start the game here, hope you all are having a blessed day. I am drinking a cold iced latte with sugar-free vanilla in front of me. Let me know what you're drinking in the comments down below as you watch. Now, I will say these are, of course, 2005 graphics, but something to keep in mind about Fear, uh, it had really good graphics for 2005. It had really good graphics. So, yeah, this looks dated, but... For the time, this was incredible. And, uh, by the way, I, I am playing the base game. I have no mods installed, no texture packs, nothing like that. This is base game graphics from 2005. And things are already moving, moving on me. And, uh, what was I stuck on? A piece of meat? All right, now we're in the dark, spooky. Yeah, yeah, no problem at all. Okay, yeah. Hey, bro. Ah. What took you so long? Scared me. Try to find a way around. Sure. This game is actually kind of coming back to me a little bit. Like I'm kind of remembering what's going to come next. Health permanently increased. Excellent. Oh yeah, let me look at my. Um, See if I can in, uh, turn on the texture, or no, the uh, HUD texting scale is on large. Well, guys, I can't make the HUD any bigger. The text scaling is on as big as it'll go. Sorry. Uh, I know the HUD's kind of small. It's kind of small for me, too. But it's, it's only got small or large, and it's already on large. So, um... Uh, nothing I can do about that. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about this is a fade speed. But no, nope, yeah, there's nothing I can do. It's on as big as it can go. We'll just have to pay close attention to it. It started already. Oh, crap. Oh, I do have a whack. I can whack. I can whack him. Whack him. Yeah, this lighting is not terrible for 2005, honestly. Coming through the windows looks pretty cool. I don't close the door on me. Babies crying and everything. It's not appropriate. 
By the way, if you are not familiar with my gameplay style, I like to look around everywhere. I like to loot everything. And I like to read all dialogue and texts. Anything there is to check out, I will check out. Hold on a sec. Come on. You ready? Go! No. And we're in slow motion. I do remember this part of the game. There's like slow motion effects and uh... Some kind of slow-mo ability that we have. I don't know how to engage it yet. But we'll figure it out. Jin, we need you up here. On my way. Looks like we're too late, boss. Just leftovers. The transmitter signal's coming from nearby. You gotta be around there somewhere. I'll wait here for Jin. You take a look around. So one of the big things about uh, this game when it came out and the graphics were the shadows. The shadows were a huge part of this game, so uh, you're noticing that, yeah, it's got place out or what? real stark shadows. It's not creepy at all. Nope. I got bonked in the head. The dead man's name was Charles Haberger. I remember him. But are the memories mine or hers? It makes no difference. He's got blood on his mouth. To die. He's got all blood all over him. I do have a zoom. I just realized I can hold shift or click shift and I have a zoom. So, okay. Cool. Uh, I guess I go back in. Here, a helicopter. Going by. Back already? See anything? How do I holster my weapon? Ah. H. I can holster my weapon. I'll be busy here for a while. Yep. This man are from fear. Pretty creepy Their game. Special attachments to our unit for the duration of this op. They will be on point. Their mission is to assess the nature of the threat. Our job is to keep them alive. Do not engage the enemy. Remember that we are not dealing with ordinary bad guys. Team one will move in from the southwest. Team two will approach from the north. Once our recon is complete, we'll rendezvous and wait for further orders. Okay, let's saddle up. All right, well, Interval 1 is done. Interval 2, Initiation, Situation. Paxton Federal managed to elude fear operatives in Auburn, and his tracking signal was subsequently lost. Body of unidentified male was discovered at the site. Hannibal 3 spy satellite has photographed sizable replica force in vicinity of South River water water, uh, Wastewater Treatment Plant. Mission, 
Spear combat operatives will attach to respond Special Forces Operation Detachment Delta troops to re re coin re recon I don't know that word reconnoiter re the area for the purpose of recommending military response. Team should not engage the enemy unless fired upon. Fear Technical Officer Jin Sung Kwon is remaining in Auburn to conduct forensic investigation. Interval 02. So each interval is like a chapter. I don't I forget how many there are in the game. Ooh, I got a better weapon. Okay, so I've got a pistol and I got this thing and I there's no like inventory thing. That's kind of one of the things I like about these older games. They're very simplified and there's no inventory system. There's no, uh, you know, character customization. It's just your weapons and your ammo and you just cycle through them and that's it, <laughs> you know? Pretty darn simple. First person shooter, classic. Classic. I'd send one of my boys, but I think we need a specialist for this one. Saving checkpoint. Classic first-person shooter, honestly. I love it. All right, so... Gate control yet? No, I'm working on it. So, uh, remember, best to watch this video in the dark like I am playing it in the dark. Best to enjoy it with the lights off. You will be the most creeped by that. I could have gone in down there. I went up here, though. You know what, though? There's a thingy down there, and I want the thingy. So hold on. Let me go back around. I have to get the thingy. Ah, reflexes are permanently boosted. Oh, I'm getting some weird weirdness. All right. There is that slow motion I was talking about. I just don't know how to use it yet. Good job. Head on back. Over there. There's things going down. How do I run, though? I want to run. I can't sprint. I have to look at the controls. Whoa. One of these. There she is. Killing everybody. Just blood squirting everywhere. If that's not the creepiest thing you've ever seen, I'll tell you what. What is it about little creepy girls? Oh, I missed the thing. Hold on. I accidentally clicked what I didn't want to click and I missed it. Can I go back to it? Uh, if there is a way... Hold on. Let me. I want to look at my controls real fast. I just want to be sure I know what I'm doing here. Um, turn left, turn right, sidestep, walk, jump, crouch, lean left. There is no run. There's no, like... Um, I can toggle a walk. I guess I'm always running. That's fine then. Um, throw grenade. Oh, G is a grenade. I wonder if I have any. Use is F. Reload. Aim, zoom, shift. Slow mo is control. Okay. X is a flashlight. Good to know. Oh, I do have an inventory. It's just weapon inventory. I guess I probably don't have all those things yet. Use a med kit would be Z. I wonder if I can reassign these to a mouse. Yep, I can. That way I can use a med kit very quickly if I need to. Actually, tell you what. I want to assign grenade to that. Mouse button 3 is assigned to med kit. Yes, I want to assign that to grenade and I want to assign 
that button to a med kit. There we go. Button three, four. Okay. Now I'm just putting all that on my mouse so I can throw a grenade or use a uh, med kit really quickly if I need to. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, now let's see. Uh, scores and refresh HUD is tab. Mission status is M. That's what I was looking for. Status unknown. Both teams have gone silent and fear teams life signs monitors are offline. Interference is preventing satellite reconnaissance. Uh, survi surviving operatives should attempt to rendezvous and exfiltrate mission area. Rendezvous with Jinkowski's team. Cool. Uh, I don't know if I have a grenade. No, I don't have a grenade. I see it over there in the right. I have no grenades. All right. Sorry, guys. Just getting uh, familiar with the game. Want to get familiar with all my controls, you know. Okay, there's the slow-mo. I do have slow-mo available to me now. That's cool. All right. So that's available to me. I can use that. Dude, you've got blood coming out of your face. What the heck was that? Okay, Q, E. Oh, I was trying to aim. <laughs> aim. Aim didn't work. I keep trying. I keep trying to aim with my uh, right mouse button, and that ain't working. I might need to change my aim button. I think I'm going to actually. Let me do this. These are things you just have to do sometimes, right? Uh, configure controls. Aim, aim, aim. Where's aim? Interaction. Aim. I want to change that to right mouse button. Uh, right mouse button was melee. Yeah, I want that on aim though. So what can I use for melee? Uh, let me figure this out. Is E assigned to anything? I could use E for melee. Oh, E is lean right. What about... T is for talk. Yeah, I'm not going to talk. I'll use T for melee. Okay. Now I can aim with my mouse. Like, that should always be aim. <laughs> Not good. Can't go that way. Going upstairs, the game, like, gets really weird. Probably just a bug. Not gonna worry about it. Turns, like, jittery. Um, I keep trying to use E for, uh, E for use. It's, uh, not that. E is lean. And lean left and right. No break. Okay, that's not what I want. Why can't I? I can't melee these. I have to say, it's uh, weird getting used to older games like this, because... Oh, crap. I've been playing a lot of Far Cry 6 lately, and... Um, 
I'm so used to the weapons and movement and how they operate in there, and I'm... It ain't the same. It is not the same. Gonna take a bit of, a bit of getting used to. I keep trying to sprint or run, and I can't do that. I think I'm always running. Come here, boy. Where'd he go? Hiding. It's a spooky warehouse. And there's electricity. I love how it just gets really quiet in the game. Just so quiet. Where oh, is he going? All right, I'm gonna try out the slow mo. That's how that works. Not sure how useful it is right now, unless there's like a whole lot of guys. Ooh. Okay, I have some grenades. And that's gonna be useful. Also got three medkits, so we're good there. Got to remember to use them if I need them. Where's my health? Uh, oh, I have 88 health and then 62 armor. So I guess my health, yeah, does not regenerate. I have to use the health packs. Another one. It's got like the half-life sound for the health. That's cool. Hey, uh... Hello. Are you dead or not? <laughs> they, uh, take a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot to hit. A lot of firepower to take them down, and I guess my weapons refill when I walk over them, so that's good. Yeah, the game starts to get spooky, like when it gets quiet, right? Hey! That guy's there. grenade got that let's listen to this message loud noises huh I assume I have to get over to there Oh, 
Oh, hello. I see a grenade. Really? Jeez, these guys actually do not go down easy. Okay. Well, I got it. Checkpoint. Scared me for a second. I thought it was going to crash. Ooh, I think we got an armor here. Nice. 100 armor. Uh, another good thing about this game from 2005 is that the AI is really good. I'm trying to throw a grenade and it's not working. Why is my grenade not working? Also, why? what am I stuck on? See, this game starts getting real jittery like that. That is not me. That is the game. The game is doing weird things. But my grenade... Oh, I just used a health pack. I didn't mean to. My grenade is not going. Why isn't my grenade going? Um, okay, controls, configure controls, uh, throw a grenade, it went back to G? No, I want throw grenade, not, did I have it on, like, next grenade? Huh. I guess I can change between grenade types. Next grenade is now unassigned, uh... Use my middle mouse button to change grenades. Okay, I got it. All right, now, so I should be able to... I only have one type of grenade. All right, I'm going to check a grenade. Oh, let's, let's see how it works. Oh, that's a long... Well, that does not really help, does it? That grenade did not do a whole lot. Not impressed by that grenade anyway. We'll try it again at some point, but yeah, I was not impressed. I see somebody peeking around down there. Let's throw a grenade at him. Well, that did a lot. Why didn't the other one do so much? I don't know. That was actually a pretty big explosion. But I totally missed him. <laughs> Let's go out. Let's look around here. I keep wanting to hit shift to uh, sprint, and it doesn't sprint. That did good. Up, oh, there's more. Did I change weapons? Ooh, somehow I changed weapons on me. Oh, I got dual wield now? Okay. Guess I picked up more, uh, more weapon types I wasn't even familiar with. That, uh, aim is really throwing me off. I half expect to be looking down the sights when it aims, and it doesn't. I guess that's just one of those things about older games like that. Like with Far Cry 6, when I aim, it's looking straight down a scope, but not with this one. It just kind of zooms in. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> kind of janky. And I keep and I keep hitting shift too. I have to quit doing that. I'm really 
really used to hit holding down shift to run. That ain't gonna work for me. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to go in there, but I see a door open over here, so I have to check it out. Oh, I don't think I can go in there. No, there is no way up there. Oh, unless it can... No, I can't go this way. Okay, I have to go down here. Oh. Someone, someone. Yep, we're in, uh... We're in problems, slow motion. Everything's in slow motion. Hi. Let me just check this room out. Nothing in here, okay. Sorry about the jitter jitteriness in the game. Uh, uh, there's nothing I can do about that, honestly. It's just an older game and it's someone, being jittery. Oh, somebody did not have a good time, or did they? Ah, this scene, I kind of remember this scene. Yeah, why is that so creepy? That's too creepy. And I guess I'm going out the window. All right, well that's done. <laughs> Situation, Hannibal 3 spy satellite is back online. One fear combat operative has been found alive. Remaining operative is still missing, but life signs are stable. Paxton Federal's tracking signal has been detected in this area. Reinforcements are en route to assist in primary mission. Mission remaining fear combat operative will attempt to locate and neutralize Federal. Fear technical officer and escort will continue searching for missing fear operative. These intervals are pretty short. I think they'll get longer. He's alive. These first first few are pretty Doesn't short. Appear to be injured, although I don't know how he survived. Worry about that later. Yes, a mystery. How did I survive that blast? How? How did I survive? You can't send him in alone. That's crazy. He can take care of himself. Now oh, move. Yes, I can. Sort of, kind of. Oh yeah, look at that. I blew out of the building. Here we go, back into another creepy building, everybody. Turn off your lights. Here we go, into the dark. That's closed. An answering machine, let's listen to it. You have one new message. Mike, what the hell's going on over there? It sounded like an explosion. I can't get through to anybody. Call me back. End of messages. Okay. Cryptic. 
So that's moving that, and I assume that is to get over there. I mean, that's pretty simple. Did I lose all my grenades? I think I lost all my grenades, or I used them all. I don't have any. Can I switch grenades? No? Alright. I guess I'm just out of grenades. I, oh, crap. Oh, I have to grab the ladder. It doesn't automatically climb down the ladder. <laughs> I'm used to, uh, in the last game I was just playing, I would go to the ladder and the character would automatically climb down the ladder, but older game here, I have to actually initiate the ladder climb. Okay, everything's flashing. I, I do have a flashlight, I think. Yeah, that's cool. I believe, oh, it runs out. That's right. Okay, when the rats are running away, uh, you should run away, right? I'm gonna let the flashlight charge back. I hate this limited flashlight use thing. It's very short. Okay, creepy. Creepy. Creepy, where did she go? There's a wall. Hear the breathing. Crap. Man, this place is just messed up, isn't it? Now, what's down here, though? I see a ladder. I have to wonder what's down here. Maybe absolutely nothing is down here? A health pack? Okay. Grab the ladder. Okay, there's guys somewhere around here. Look at him, Look at him go. Yeah, I don't know if I had mentioned this earlier. I think I was trying to. I don't know if I ever actually said it out loud, but the, um... This game is known... <laughs> excuse me. This game is known in the past, when it came out, for having really good AI. NPC AI. The uh, NPC AI was, like, uh, very reactive. Like, realistic. They would, like, hear you coming, come up behind you, they'd circle around. Um, in fact, I think the whole series is known for that. So, that is one good thing about this older game, is it, uh, for the time, had, like, one of the best NPC AIs. So that was really cool. It was known for that. Now, I am playing on the easy difficulty, so, I mean, it would probably be a lot more difficult if I wasn't, but I'm just saying. They definitely move away and try to dodge fire, fights, bullets. Nothing down here? Okay. Oh, there is a, a secret way down here. See, this is what I like to look for. Little secret passages, secret ways through, and potentially things like that. Reflexes permanently boosted? Heck yeah. I think the reflex boost goes toward your slow motion ability. So you have more, uh, a longer period of time of slow mo. Something like that. Oh, that's locked. Oh, okay. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. I see a, I see a method. I see a method. There is a method to the madness. 
or not, I can't climb up that. Well, I thought there was a method. Guess that's the way I thought I could crawl across that. Oh, maybe I can. I just have to go this way to do it. Gotcha. Yeah, pretty simple mechanic. Here I am. Okay, there's a lot of guys here. I'm going to toss a grenade their way. Yeah, the slow motion actually is really cool. The slow motion actually helps bullet time. I guess we'll just call it bullet time. I mean, I call, I'm calling it slow motion, but it's bullet time. Bullet time is awesome in this game. It really makes the game, and it was very unique at the time it came out. Uh, unique game mechanic, right? It's a little jittery, but that's just, yeah. Whoa! Flipped him up. And I think the jitteriness comes from the fact that I'm playing at a really high frame rate. One that was probably never intended for the game. Because I'm playing with a freaking 4090, so... Uh, the frame rate is just so high that it doesn't know what to do with itself. <laughs> it just doesn't know what to do with itself. A thousand frames per second is just a little too much for it. That's fine, though. We'll adapt. We'll be okay. There's not a whole lot in terms of loot. It's just like ammo and grenades and maybe uh, recordings, but there really hasn't been a lot of other things. There's no inventory system, right? Dodge my... Dodge my grenade. Now I'm out of grenades. Things are flipping and flopping around. Guess I'm full on ammo. I do want to pick their ammo up, though. Nice. Lots of good stuff. The data's uploading now. Okay, uploading data. Interesting. I found a wastewater analysis summary addressed to an Army Game Review Committee. According to the abstract, there's some major contamination coming from upstream. I can't imagine why Army Cam would be interested unless they're responsible. Mm-hmm. Well, they're probably responsible. Whoa. This is what I love about the game. <laughs> the uh, physics and just things just taking off and flying on their own because... Because uh, ghostly stuff is happening, supernatural stuff. Very fun. Okay, got some armor, got another grenade.
Okay. There's not a grenade. It's all in your head. They can call in reinforcements also, so that's cool. Well, no, it's not. But, <laughs> not for me anyway. It's good for them, I guess. Oh, I'm full of med packs. Okay, I have new weapons. Just ammo. Okay. Nice. I'm out of grenades, though. I could use another grenade. Oh, I'm stuck. Stuck on a rail. That jitteriness is pretty crazy. I don't know if it's coming through on the recording. I'll find out when I play it back. I think some of it is, but yeah, for me, it gets real jittery sometimes. Like, uh, it freaks out, just doesn't know what to do with itself. I guess I could limit the frame rate. I might actually do that when I start my next recording, because uh, getting that jitteriness is kind of weird. Well, that looks fun. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. I saw her slithering across the floor. Full on health. Hiding back here? No. Oh. Okay, we're in weird a supernatural vision. Oh yes, I remember this scene. One of the famous scenes. Look how much blood. I'm in a swimming in blood. Oh, okay, and a, a skeleton just attacked me. I think. Oh, that scared me. Interval three. All right, see, situation. Fear operative has engaged a second replica company, throwing enemy forces into disarray. Teams are preparing to assault Armacam corporate headquarters. Enemy strength is presently unknown. The body found in Auburn has been possibly identified as Charles Habiger. Mission. Primary goal remains the elimination of Hex and Fettel. Secondary goal is to determine enemy objective in the area. Yes, the No, but I found some human remains. Impossible to ID without lab work. That can't be him. His life signs are a little unusual, but he's definitely alive. He's gotta be around there somewhere. I'll keep looking. I think we'll play this interval out. I know it's been about an hour now on this video, but since I had a pretty long introduction, I'm gonna go ahead and play this interval, and then we'll, this will be the last interval for today's playthrough, but... Uh, the I just wanted to mention the uh, I've always I do remember this scene from when I played because back in 2005 this was a really good graphic the visuals here with the fog smokiness coming through and the shadows and the lighting was like really cool this was really awesome still looks good today
Nothing to report. Uh, or is there something to report? I'm afraid of her. So it's a mutual afraid afraid of ness afraidness. Oh, I'm full on armor. Okay. There's more. Oh, that was weird. Answering machine, full of health. Finally, some grenades. Whoa! Dude. I just missed that whole message. Well, I'll have to go back and read it. I missed that whole message because they were. They came out of nowhere. Uh, I don't know how if I can go back and, uh... I don't know if I can go back and read messages. I... Well, alright, let me let me look in my controls one more time. Uh, controls... Uh, interaction. Fire, melee, throw, use, reload, grenade. Nope, not that one. Inventory, weapons, next weapon, previous, last drop, select frag, select remote, next grenade, no sir, nope, status. Scores or refresh HUD tab mission status M, which I tried. Look up, look down, center view toggle. No, there's no way to go back and like read my. I guess I can't. Okay, well. Looks like we're going out here. Bet you it's gonna be a big fight. I have two grenades. Just peek out. Dude, see, he came up behind me. They can do that. I have to remember they can do that. Well, 
Well, that was unlucky for them. Okay, cleared that out. This boy is slumped. I guess that was it. He had no chance. It really does take a lot to take these guys out. Now, that's not so good from a distance. Not very accurate from a distance, so I'd say. The bullet time is fun, but it is not extremely accurate from a distance. Long distance. I have to go down here and see what's down here, of course. Because there's that. Going backwards. Let's go this way. Guess we're going down. And back up. up here or out here oh a big valve I don't know what that did but I did it I am not sure what that valve just did Oh, it filled this with water. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. Up. Okay. I'm having trouble getting up that, so what if... What if instead I don't do that? What if I go over here and hop across? Ta-da! Did they almost run into each other? That was weird. I need help. See, they can call for reinforcements. They can call for help. It's very, uh, cool. Poor deck. Push and go. Ah, oh, now I'm up here. I'll use a health. I'm at 71, but... Oh, that was not a health. <laughs> Instead, I'll throw a grenade. There. I'll use a health and grab a new one. Well, I used one of my grenades. Is 
there's gonna be a big firefight. They geared me up with a lot of weapons just now, and there's that. So what's gonna happen? Well, that's back the way I came. Hard to see them with all the smoke. All the uh, smoke. <laughs> kind of hard to uh, see them. And the way he hit that pipe, too, with the noise, that was perfect. Alright, we have like an armored guy here. How am I gonna beat this guy? This dude is jacked up. Well, that didn't ricochet, right? Okay, that worked. So I need to grenade, grenade those guys for sure. Whatever he was, that was rough. He was armored up. And I switched weapons somehow. Fall back. Huh, fall back and I shoot him in the back. Shit, looks like these fuckers are pulling out. Seeing a substantial mobilization on the satellite. Let's go down there and check that out. There's stuff down here. Like that. I want it. Health permanently increased. Good, I need it. Haven't had any creepy moments in a while. Been a lot of uh, gunfight. Oh, look at that guy. It's like a spider. Uh, I see gas leaking over here. That's weird. I see ladder, I see water stuff. Okay, I'm gonna have to go this way. I have to turn the valve, raises the water. But I can go this way. So, if I can go this way, then why do I need to go that way? Really? Can I not, like, jump out of- I can't jump out of the water here? Boom. 
Come on. Ha! Huh. This is the dumbest thing right here. I can't, I literally cannot jump out of the water. Well, you're no fun. Can I jump down here? Oh, this is just where I was. Oh, I had burst through those doors. Now I'm backtracking the way I came. So I'm back into this room. Now I should be back where the water's at. But it's so odd that I cannot... Oh, I could go up there, but how do I get up there? It's just so weird I can't jump out of the water there. Oh, there it is. That was weird. It wouldn't let me do that before, though. Ooh, got a shotgun, but you know what? I like this better. I don't do shotguns. I mean, I do sometimes. But I'll keep this. I guess I can only have three weapons at a time. Nah, I'll do... I'll do these three. Who knows, maybe that'll change in the future. But right now we'll just stick with these. It's working for me. Well, there's something through there. Where is all? I don't know what you're talking about. Some secrets get buried deeper than others. But I know where to dig. No, wait! You've got the wrong guy! Hush now, Mr. Moody. The time for talk is done. Please! No! Okay. That's not a way in. But that is. Oh, I think we're back into the creepiness. Okay, uh, that actually made my, that actually gave me goosebumps right there. Not gonna lie, that gave me goosebumps a little bit. That was kind of scary. Because I'm in the dark here now, and uh, playing this in the dark, I, you know, you guys probably can't even see it because it's so dark. Maybe I should turn the light on. Oh, okay. New interval, I think, or something. Situation, replica forces appear to be withdrawing from South River Wastewater Treatment Plant. Pax and Federal has not been secured. SFOD has entered Armacan headquarters. Initial resistance lighter than expected. Mission, primary objective remains the elimination of Pax and Federal. I guess I'll keep playing a little bit more. I'm so into it right now. You just don't know. I'm so into this right now. Oh, oh, that's creepy. That, oh. Yeah. So here's some of those jump scares I was telling you guys about. <laughs> They're happening now. A devastating explosion in the harbor this evening may not have been an accident. 
We have learned that evidence of a fierce gun battle has been found by police investigators. Several bodies were recovered from the scene with bullet and shrapnel wounds. So far, no one is commenting on exactly what happened here or why. Okay, if there's a way down here, I gotta check it out. What could be down here, right? Probably a dead body and grenades. Oh, look, there's something in there. So, if there's something there, I have to find out how to get to it. And my thing's out. I'm in total darkness right now. Scary. Okay, well, I can't get to that from right here, so... This must be another way in there, or through there, or under there, or around there. Somewhere. Multiple ways to go here. Now we're... Uh oh. I saw her. She was here. some kind of creepy noise and it's freaking me the crap out right now it's like a little mouse or something is biting my feet I don't like it <laughs> maybe it's this with the blood dripping down okay well that's disturbing I bet you that way, that thing might be under here. But I am in total darkness. Yes. Must get... Permanent health increase. I'm at 120 health now, I love it. Oh, it's this way though, nothing. Yep. There's something in the water. There's something in the water. It's so dark through here. That is so creepy. Oh, hello. Oh, good. The blood's on the ceiling. This is awesome. Oh, oh, oh! I turned around and there was a thing. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll have none of that. Oh, 
Alert. Alma. Our first right, mention of Alma. Be close. Yeah, that was our first mention of Arma. Uh, Alma, I mean. guy. It's enough. Oh, down here too, huh? Oh, crap! Whoa, that dude came out of nowhere. Burst right in here. Jeez. And yeah, it's so hard to see through the smoke, right? I can't see through the gr all the smoke and dust. It's just... Hard to see. No, I'm happy with this weapon. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. You do that. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got him flying through the window. Did I kill him? I did. Yeah, baby. Just blow him up, burn him up, and chew him up. Of course, now I set everything on fire. Ooh. I don't know why I needed to go this way. I have no idea what that did for me. So I will go back down. Take that armor. Can I go back in here? I'll see what's this way. That's right. Whoa, whoa. He was still alive. These guys are getting tougher. Also, my weapon changed again. I don't know why it keeps changing on me. Maybe I'm running out of ammo. Checkpoint. Yeah, I guess I'm running out of ammo. Ah, I'm back here.
Well, what's this for? You know I have to go look. If there's a tunnel, I have to find out what it's for. Oh, it's a cutscene. Situation. Pax and Fettel and Replica Forces are continuing organized withdrawal from South River Wastewater Treatment Plant. After locating another of Fettel's victims, fear operative neutralized Replica Gear Guard units and continue to pursue repeat enemy forces. Top priority is to still eliminate Pax and Fettel, of course. But I'm going to stop here for today, guys. It's been an hour and a half. I went a little extra long. I went a little, uh, let me hear this. Nice. Okay. I'm going to call it here. It's been an hour and a half. I went a little extra today, a little extra long since we had an intro and this is the first video just to get, give you guys a taste of what to expect in this playthrough. Hope you all are really enjoying this. I know I am. Um, if this goes well and you guys like this, I'm, I may either play Fear 2, the second one, after I do my whole playthrough of Fear. Uh, either this October or maybe I'll save it till next October but then there's always fear 3 I can do next October so I may go ahead and do fear 2 this October it just depends we'll see how much time this game takes for me to get through uh, but I think I will definitely do extraction point and Percy's mandate I think that's what it's called uh, the two DLCs after I finish the main game of fear so that's kind of my goal and intention here at least all, all of that and uh, yeah I'll be putting up a video of this every day and it'll be about an hour long, except for this one went a little over. And I hope you all are enjoying it. Again, hope you have a blessed day. And uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.